sound K. A story about firefighters attending a six-year-old boy's birthday party is going viral on numerous social networking sites. Well, you're probably wondering what all the fuzz is about. Well, this autistic six-year-old boy invited his entire class to his birthday party, but not a single kid showed up. Seeing her devastated child, his mother wrote the story on SNS, and the local firefighters saw this and went to wish the child a happy birthday. The kindness of these firefighters turned a nightmarish birthday into a great one that the young boy will never forget. Welcome to Sound K, and I'm your DJ Stephanie. I love that, that medio tempo song. Welcome back, everyone. You're listening to Sound K, and I'm your DJ Stephanie. Today it is Tuesday, February twenty fourth. Already, it's the、uh, end of the week. Yes, 2015, and the first song of Sound K was "Norita Playground" by Yukis. So、uh, I think this was a very、uh, cute, happy ending at the end because, well, this boy had um. Yeah, the sad、uh, moment, of course, because his classmate didn't showed up when he invited、uh, everyone、uh, for his birthday. But you know what? SNS、so、once more, I、um, can realize that it is a very powerful. Powerful thing, right? So I do have a very memorable birthday that I had.、Mm-hmm, I remember. So I'm going to. Uh, share the story. So it was—it's not a story, but yeah, it happened. It was when I was in second grade. Yeah, so literally eleventh、uh, birthday, maybe I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure.、Uh, in、um, Korean age,、uh, I th- I was、uh, attending this elementary school, and I was second grade. And the first and last birthday that I invited my classmates, when I was a tomboy, who never. Never, never, never wore skirt. I hated it. I really didn't like to wear a skirt. Well, of course, I was a very athletic girl too, so that never, you know,、uh, because I have to be always available for playing this like handballs or like、um, like dodgeballs or some kind of sports. I was very into it. I was a very sporty person. Back then, well, I don't do any sports anymore. But anyways, so、uh, that's another reason that I never、uh, wear skirt, skirt, and also because whenever I attend this ballet school, I always had to wear the skirt and tutus and tights. So I was kind of sick of it. So when I go to school, I always wore pants. Anyways, but you know what? On that birthday, on that day, I wore a white dress. Oh my goodness! White dress, and of course, I invited my crush, who I loved for five, almost six years. When I, the whole entire elementary、um, school, when I attend the elementary school, I loved, loved, loved this one guy. <laughs> Well, he was a boy. He was really cute. So、uh, for my birthday, I invited classmates and also him. Well, I was wearing this dress, and that was my biggest celebration of、uh, my birthday that ever had in my entire life, and the most memorable one because, uh, uh, actually, uh, he I could everyone in the class my in, in in my class everyone knew that I liked him, but he never was、uh, he never. Like、uh, say anything to me, so. <laughs> but it was the first time for him to actually showed up to my birthday,、uh, in my at my birthday, excuse me, and he told me that I was looking kind of cute. So I'm like, oh my goodness! Because of that, I still remember. That was my most memorable birthday that I had. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it was kind of random, but I want to share that. Well, as I grow up, I don't really celebrate birthdays anymore. But、uh, it is good to have at least, you know, one happy, memorable birthday, right? So I want to ask our listeners about your most memorable birthday party, right? So when was it, and what did you do?
Make sure to share your message on our message board, just like I shared. Okay? Or you can say hello on our message board, or say what's up. Where where in the world are you listening to Sound K? Which country? Where in that country? It is eight o eight in Korea. What time is it? Where you are? What are your plans for the day? Tell me all about it. Tell me your right. Now we'll share it all together. This is Barry One from Turkey saying, "Hello, DJ Stephanie. Happy Tuesday with a smiley face. Love you and fighting. Thank you very much. You're always tuned in, Barry One. Thank you once more. And this is how you can participate on our message board and join us on Sound K. If you are on Jeju Island, our FM frequencies are 80.7 in Jeju City." 80.1 in Sogipo City, 101.9 megahertz in Daejeon area, and you can also find us on T D M B I D Dong Radio. If you have a smartphone, you can download our application that is available for both iPhone and, of course, Android operation systems. And also, feel free to send us your comments, messages, questions on our website. It is www. Arirangradio.com slash sound K. All right, so it is our time to listen to one more track and come back. This is May Bam Every Night by EXID. <laughs> quiz, quiz, quiz. Are you guys ready for tonight's daily quiz? And here is the question with fabulous prize. So listen very carefully. This popular idol group member has released a solo song, "Well Done," and it has reached ranking number one on music charts. Despite the strong popularity of Naor and Zayn T and Crush, he still managed to make it to the top ranking, proving his incredible talent. This new single, "Well Done," is about a past four years of his life after his debut, and he tells his story as he reflects back. His uh, first single, "Tough Cookie," that's another hint. A uh, "Tough Cookie" released last year showed a different side to this singer than what we saw when he was active with his group. He is currently active with his group, Block B, and is also active in the underground hip hop world. This leader slash rapper of a boy group, Block B, is also a very talented composer and has gotten acknowledgement from the entire music world. So, which Block B member has released a solo single? Well done. Number one, P.O. Number two, Park Kyung. Number three, Zico. Once more, number one, Pio. Number two, Park Kyung. Number three, Zico. So now we'll accept only the answers. So written on our message board. So log on to our website www.arirangradio.com/soundk and leave us your answers. Of course, we'll announce the winners on our message board. So be sure to check that out. This time we will be giving away the signed CD of Ncia. It is Ncia's signed CD. So be sure to leave us your answers on our message board starting now. All right, I'm uh, Sarah. For From Algeria was saying sweet story that you share on the intro,、uh, such a sweet story. But why they didn't come? Okay, I think I forgot to tell you guys that、um, I did invite a classmate, and there were about fifteen to a, to twenty、uh, of my classmates who showed up. So it was a big, big, big like house party that I had、uh, for my eleventh birthday. Yeah, I remember.、Um, but that、uh, the story that I share with you on the the intro when I was reading the story when the firefighter came into this boy's house, well, because he was、uh, diagnosed with、uh, autism. So autism is、uh, it's like a neuro. A development disorder, like um, it has like impaired, like impaired, like social interaction, has like verbal, like problem, like no non-verbal communication. So this this boy, little boy, has you know that kind of issue, and、uh, just his friend was not、uh, having what celebrating his birthday with him because of that, but. You know, firefighter. They、uh, contact their the boy's mother, and then came into the house, and then celebrate. So it has a happy ending. But I think you got a little confused. But the story that I told you 
、uh, from the intro, uh, he got a yeah, the boy got a happy ending, and also me, my birthday party was like. Big giant party, but I was curious about our listeners' memorable birthday party. So if you guys want to share, make sure to send in for the intro feedback message. Okay, I'll be waiting for your messages. While our listeners participate on our message board, what we're going to do is listen to more tracks. First one is "Kojang Nan Shige Broken Watch" by My Name, and followed by "Black Swan" by Rainbow. Hmm, interesting song. Well, that really definitely had that、um, interesting vibe. Well, I thought、uh, that Black Swan will be the cover when we see the jacket page, but it's actually not. It's like White Swan. Huh? Interesting. <laughs> so I'm like Black Swan, but it's a White Swan. Okay. But that definitely was、uh, a beautiful song. Uh, and uh, you know, I really want to see Rainbow in our studio if it's possible, right? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that song. It is our time to、uh, share more messages. That's from our listeners. This is Asia ninety six from Bulgaria saying hello and plus the intro feedback. Hello, hello, my beautiful DJ Stephanie. Hello, hello, my sister Asia, and amazing Sound K family. Yes, we do have amazing family. I mean, you are stunning today. Thank you very much for saying that. Well, I、um, kind of put my hair up together because,、um, yes, I didn't wash my hair. There you go. <laughs> Sorry about that. And I am so happy to see you smiling. Did you had already your dinner, or you will have it later? Well, I had、um, this、uh, cream bread and also like a breadstick. I had bread for the little snack, but I didn't have the real meal. I think I might have one after the show. Anyways, hmm. Yesterday I went to party. Yes, and uh, uh, wait, I went pretty late. Excuse me to sleep, and I overslept for my school today. Okay, but it was nice that I had a good rest. Yes, you're right. And then from this next week, I will be super busy on this. So again, I won't be able to tune in with a sad face. But I will enjoy for sure this week. And about the intro feedback, so my most memorable birthday. Was actually my 18th one. In the morning, a few of my friends woke me up with a big、uh, bouquet and chocolate. Okay, and it was so nice of them. And then I made a night pool party. Oh, that sounds fun! And because my birthday is in July, when it's super hot, so after all night partying, all of my friends jumped into a pool, and ah,、uh, it was such a great birthday party. Oh, that's amazing! I'm kind of jealous. Have a fantastic day and slash evening, everybody, and take care with love, Asia, your little sister. Yes, Asia. So、uh, your brother was not mad when you were having the pool party because I'm sure that you invited your guy friends too, and I know your brother is very protected of you. <laughs> so whenever I listen,、uh, whenever you tell us about your brother, it's really really funny. Anyway, so、uh, thank you very much for sharing that. And we have Sarah from Algeria saying hello, hello Ani. Well, I didn't do something special for my birthday, but it was last Sunday. It was last Sunday. Okay, and I was just at home with my family, and I don't like to have a big party, so it's okay. Okay, Sarah, so you're with me because I don't really celebrate my birthday a lot, or I am not a big party person, especially on my birthday. I celebrate big. Of my friend's birthday, but I don't really celebrate my own birthday big. I don't know. I don't know what is going on. But anyways, Sarah, you know what? Having a this amazing birthday party with your family, I think that's more memorable, right? I wish that I can be with my family. Oh, thank you very much, Sarah. And we have new, ooh, Nua from Tunisia. Long time no see. Yes, long time no see. Hello, cutie, cutie. Your new is here. Fine. You're here, and one of my teacher was absent, so I came running just to listen and see you while you're at school. Right? What time is it in Tunisia right now? Hmm. So you you guys already started school. Me in March, I think 
first week of March. Uh, I am uh, starting my new semester. Oh my goodness, I am so not ready for that. But I'm trying to organize all the the class schedule today or and tomorrow. So I might I might have a crazy schedule too. So new, thank you very much for tuning in, and once more, thank you very much for your message. Okay, so it is our time to listen to one more track and continue our show. This is 같은 시간 속에 너 you in the same time by now. Welcome. It's time for sound care. Yeah. Alright, what's good, Stephanie? Take it over. Thank you for tuning in. You're listening to Sound K, and I'm your DJ, Stephanie. So today we have our popular corner. Tell me, tell me, with Corey of 24K, from small embarrassing questions to troubles that have been waiting you down for a long time. We're standing by to listen and help you guys out with. We will also be giving you a cheer up song in addition to our advice. And guess what? We do have a special prize for one lucky winner, and we are going to give away the signed CD of. Kiss. He's uh, the new um, artist. He's a solo artist uh, who came out from that, that uh, Soul Shop na- uh, label. Yes. You know what? And um, Kim Tae-woo of G.O.D. Yes, uh, he, it's uh, his company. And this guy, and I think he's absolutely very talented. And we received this... Um, Uh, what is that? A signed CD. So we are going to give away. So don't miss out this chance. Make sure to send in your tell me, tell me message on our message board. And for the star date on Thursday, which is February 26th, we are going to invite this amazing vocalist, six to eight. They are going to visit us in our studio. So make sure to send in your questions on our message board. And uh, other segment corners, if you guys want to participate, make sure to do that on Wednesdays. We have Heart to Heart with Jesse and Benji in our studio, where we accept your messages about romance. So, so this time, we are going to talk about a love. If you have any curiosity about love, let us know. Jesse and Benji, we are here to help you guys out with. And then on Sundays, we let you, our listeners, become the DJ of the night with my playlist. So please leave us one theme, one topic with three song choices that you like to hear. And a little bit of explanation why you picked those songs and uh, if as you guys see on our announcement part we are giving away the signed cd specially this week uh, and the price is uh, it's on our message board we have ncs signed cd uh taegong nama signed cd and kiss signed cd so make sure to participate and keep those messages coming on our message board all right so let's move on to blah 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 your everyday thoughts turn into a great line and let us know each other better through blah 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 messages so listen to today's topic and the topic is which idol star you want to see on sound case star date interview and why Uh, well, we do. Well, it's been uh, nine months. Uh, yeah. Wow, time really flies. That kind of scared me. Nine months already. And I met a lot of idol stars uh, already, right? But uh, I want to ask our listeners. I don't know if we can invite uh, these idol stars that you request, but we just want to know your opinion, right? So which idol star that our listeners want to see on Soundcase star date interview and why. Please make sure to send in your message on our message board with the title blah blah blah. Alright, let's move on. We have a feedback message from Asia96 from Bulgaria saying, this is the feedback. Oh, you're so cute. Um, thank you. Haha, <laughs> my brother was in the state. Oh, he was away. I see. For the internship. And so he wasn't really protecting me. But even though of the time differences, he was writing me in the, on the SNS to ask me, uh, aren't I am going home already? So he was checking you. 
Okay. And who came to my birthday party and he just warned me to be careful. What am I doing? He, he, ah, yeah, you're very, very lucky. Mm hmm. And we do have one more message from Smart We Are 90 from Singapore saying hello. So, hello, DJ Stephanie. Hello, hello, Smart We Are. How are you? So, today I went out with my best friend. Oh, so you had a fun time with your friends. And we went to watch, uh, catch a movie. And had our lunch together. We had a long conversation, and it is sad to know her dad is not feeling well. Oh no! And I hope her dad get、uh, well soon. Have a nice day,、uh, Smart Wea. Well, we are here to pray for、uh, your friends too.、Uh, make sure that you are there with for her. And、uh, yeah, and to cheer up her. Yes. From Singapore, thank you very much for your message. And make sure to have a lot of conversation with your friend. I think that's what friends for, right? All right. Thank you very much. And make sure to participate for the blah, blah, blah messages on our message board. Okay. All right. So let's listen to one more track. This is Yojum No t e m u n e Na Because of You by Barry Good. Mmm, great sound. That was the Tewa Minya Wolf by EXO. Alright, so, wow, thank you very much for these amazing feedback messages. So let's share. This is the blah, blah, blah feedback messages. And the first one is from Mascali from Friends. Bonjour, Stephanie. Hello, hello, Kelly. And I want to see the legendary Xinhua. Okay, you know, I really miss them too. They used to be in, in、um, SM Entertainment, but they got out from our agency when I、uh, had a,、uh, I signed the contract with、uh, SM Entertainment. So, unfortunately,、um, I didn't get to see them when they were in the same agency, but you know what? They're very active. So, okay, that's a nice one. Shina is very active these days. And because they are so amazing, and I am sure it will be very funny, and their comeback is approaching. Yes, that's very true. Okay, so Shina, it is. Kelly, thank you very much. And we have Asia96 from Bulgaria. OMG, such a great question. <laughs> um, hmm, so I would love to see. Oh my goodness, you actually gave me the lists. So, Hanhe, okay, Hanhe of a Phantom, got it. J Park, oh, whoever could bring from A O N G or Sunny.、Um, and they are such amazing artists and they are really funny. I think that it will be nice to see them here. He he he. Yeah, and especially,、um, we never actually had that like a hip hop, hip hop, or、uh, like underground hip hop artists, right? So I think that's a good idea, Asia.、Mm, thank you very much for your feedback message. And we have Sarah once more from Algeria. So I want to see on Sound Case Star Date, Vix again? Okay, Vix. If we invite Vix again, that will be a third time for me to interview them. And BTS、uh, and BAP. BAP, yes, I did. But BTS, they were here when DJ Xian was here. So, I, me, I never get to see them. I really wish that I can see p a n g t a n Boys in our studio. Hmm, BTS, it is. And I really like, and there are a lot of other artists I want to see in the studio B2B, Block B, A Pink, and Park Yoo Shin. Hmm, Park Yoo Shin is nice. Yes, he's an amazing singer. Sarah, thank you very much from Algeria. And we have Smart Via 90 from Singapore. Blah, 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 feedback message. Roy Kim, period. <laughs> Roy Kim, and speaks, he speaks English, right? He's from the States. So I wish Sound K could have him as a guest for the star date, but currently he's busy with his studies. Oh, he is. So maybe one day Roy Kim has a unique voice, and I、uh, wish more people could know him through his music. Yes,、uh, he was very active after that audition program. He gained a lot of fame, and now he's back studying? Really?、Mm, I didn't know that. Okay, so Smart Wea, thank you very much for your opinion. And it is Marcus. Hello, Marcus from the States. You're awake. Mm, thank you very much. So, who haven't you interviewed yet? LOL. <laughs> 
Yes, I yeah, I did interview a lot of artists. Now, even the underground um, artists when I was uh, um, the host of a Super K-pop because uh, there was a like a nemesis, and uh, uh, we I had a what is that? I can't really vanilla acoustic uh, and Soshin Boys. Coffee boy, there are a lot of boy, and uh, yes, and I I personally like indie bands, and uh, I had a great time interviewing them, and of course uh, the idol stars, it's incredible. So thank you very much, and you interviewed all the artists that I want to see on Sound K already, haha. <laughs> Oh, that's nice to hear. Wow. Oh, that's amazing feedback message, Marcus. Thank you very much. You just made my day. And we have a Caroline, 11 from Estonia. So I was a listener when Vix was here. Uh, you were not listening. Okay. When Vix was here, well, they visited two times. Oh, I can't believe that you missed it. But anyways, but if they should ever come again, I don't know how I would re react and I would probably dance with my cat. <laughs> oh, that's really cute. And kiss him until I get a slap in the face. Yeah, the cats, they kind of, they are good at slapping, right? Mm. And these guys are my ultimate favorite group. And uh, even thinking about them makes my heart flutter. Carolyn from Estonia, thank you very much. And we have Rudy14 from Lebanon saying, Hello, DJ Stephanie. So how are you to doing today? I'm very good. Thank you very much for asking. I tried Korean food in the weekend thanks to my Korean teacher. Oh, you have a Korean teacher. And it was an interesting experience. Haha, <laughs> what did you have? Hmm, because we have all kinds of uh, different tastes of Korean food. And I still need time to get used to their taste. So it was a, a good experience, but I can see that you did not really enjoy that. Mm, I'm sorry about that. Anyways, so as for the blah, blah, blah feedback message, I would love to see, and I would love seeing you interviewing 21 BTS, of course, Brown Eyed Girls, GOT7. Yes, I only get to interview three members of uh, GOT7, right? Like, um, what is that? Mark, Bam Bam, and it was uh, Jackson, right? Only three of uh, the members from GOT7. And BAP and four minutes. All right, Rudy Fortin from Lebanon. Thank you very much for your feedback messages. That really was a great response, everyone. Thank you once more. And it is our time to wrap up the first part of the show, but I will see you guys on part two with Corey in our studio. The last song is 사랑은 미친지 Love is Madness by 15 End, and I will see you guys on part two. Tell me. Tell me. All those things you couldn't tell your friends and family. From the smallest to the most serious plums. Everything goes away. <laughs> tell us all about it. We'll give you great advice and even cheer you guys up with songs. And it is tell me. Tell me. Oh my goodness, Corey. My, my tongue got twisted there. I know you're sick. Oh, oh, yeah, I, why is this? I, I swear, I, I, I talk about this quite often it, like it i go about two weeks i mean a month strong uh -huh. and then it's always like i'm always down with something you know what you know that's kind of ironic thing because me mm -hmm. i'm like i'm always sick mm -hmm. but uh i don't really get that like a major like sickness yeah, yeah you know, yeah, you know yeah. what i'm talking I, no, about i actually have I, I actually this last run i don't think i've been like down with a cold like hardcore for quite a while now uh -huh. but actually um in the last two days i i got like up to i only got four hours of sleep in the oh, last two days no. but and it, then you it's got not sick? only work it's just yeah i guess it all involves work but your voice yeah. it's like because your voice is really low you have mm -hmm. a low tone but it's it's a low whir. yeah it's lower <laughs> it's a yeah, low yes, whir. Yes, yes. but you're okay yeah, I'm all right. I'm yeah. All right. Oh my goodness, because right. I can see that you have a little um, that redness yeah, in your yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I like run hot in general, but now I have a fever too. Right. You know what? Make sure to have the vitamin because I think your immune system right. now it's getting uh, you warmer. You and your vitamins. No, seri I'm yes. serious. I'm yes. serious. But I mean, you it, know what? In, in layman's, it works, right? And it, you know what? It's getting warmer. And now yeah, yeah, is yeah. the time people get sick the most of the time. Because right, right, right. Because of the transition. Tra 
transition. Yes. And also, last uh, yesterday and the mm. last night, the yellow dust was uh, it was all right. Not really. Man, people don't even know about this. Like, is it called yellow dust? Yeah, it's a yellow dust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, well, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, nobody in the states know about this for sure. Mm. I mean, I'm sure a lot mm -hmm. of people. It's it, really like, dusty. All, yeah, yeah. It's just. What it is is like buildup of like really bad dust. Yeah, it's a very dusty from wind from the east. Uh huh. And it just every there's like a season when yeah. it flies in, and you could actually see it in the air. And yesterday it was pretty bad. Yeah, that yeah. We got the warning sign. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like the thing is, I'm always good about wearing masks too. Uh huh. But that day, of course, I freaking I lost it. Uh, and you really have it, to, so. yeah, you really have to wash it. Wash mm -hmm. your hands. Don't, don't touch your eyes right now. Yeah, it's, it's your... just like my eyes are itchy right now and everything. See, you're like touching your face yeah. right now. It's not good. But, yeah. oh my goodness, I Corey, I'm you. sorry to hear that. Okay. No, um, I'm all right. I'm all right. We have a feedback message that's, uh, that was from part one. No, right we on. have a Ruti 14 from Lebanon because uh, he tried this Korean food and I was asking which Korean food because we have so many. Right. And he said that I tried kimchi. Uh, kimchi uh -huh. is a little hard for you to try because if you this is the first time for you, then it'll be a little yeah yeah. Kimchi yeah. is like an acquired taste for sure. <laughs> you kind of have to build your mm -hmm. what is that? Mm. Yeah, it's an acquired taste. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Like it's it's, it's strong. Uh huh. And bulgogi, oh, bulgogi is good. Yeah. Which is uh, like a soy Pepper sauce. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Marinated. It's like the Korean authentic barbecue. Yeah, barbecue. I love mm -hmm. that. And jajangmyeon, which is a black bean noodle. Love that. Yeah. And ramen. And two sh dishes that I forgot their name, but it's okay. So yeah. one was the rice dish with the hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Rice right, with the hot sauce. Okay. Pibimbap. Pibimbap. There you pepper go. Pepper paste, right? Red pepper paste. Yes. Tell me if I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what you're talking Pibimbap. about. Pibimbap. The meat and veggies. There you go. Yeah, and the sesame yeah, yeah. oil. You got that right. Uh -huh. And the other was the rice noodle with the sesame and the veggies. Mm. Rice noodle. Mm. That's... Okay. Oh. Okay, but anyways, yeah, yeah, I yeah. like uh, bulgogi the best, and mm. other not so much. Oh, I'm so <laughs> sorry to hear that. <laughs> yes, and once more, we have uh, Yvonne from Singapore saying this is actually the blah 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 feedback message. Uh -huh. I would like to see a uh, seven nine four two chingu sai. Okay, chingu mm -hmm. uh, What in English it's uh, C G S E to be a guest star on Sound K. They are the ballad idol group. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. Uh, what is that? Five member idol uh, mm -hmm. ballad singers they're mm -hmm. they're talented and they are they all new? very talented singers uh -huh. but sadly they're not um well known uh, i see okay, but okay. our listener want to see them on star right, right. just trying my luck since i missed out uh kmuch guest mm -hmm. appearance yesterday i am so mm -hmm. sad don't be too sad about that yvonne mm -hmm. we have aod audience on demand so mm -hmm. if you want to check that interview out you can check <laughs> that on aod and mm -hmm. also on the tube site because we always upload the, uh, the interview and the live and sarah from algeria says hello corey hello what are you up to these days? What am I up to? You're just busy work and sick. Being <laughs> sick. Oh my goodness! Don't That's be sick. preoccupying, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, but it is our time to move on. Ooh, we talked a little bit uh, mm -hmm. too much today. I'm sorry about that, but mm -hmm. we have to move on. Let's do that. And Corey, you're the first uh, reader. Yes, let's do it. This mm -hmm. one's from Caroline, mm -hmm. uh, from Estonia. Let's see. It's hard to give advice on this situation because sometimes blood isn't thicker than water. I would not deal with him, uh, not in the present or the future, but it all depends on so many different levels and just rely on people who love and support you, not fam or family or not. Okay, so... Basically, What's going on here? Right. Um, <laughs> Carolyn, I think uh, you got um, mm -hmm. hurt from your family member or something Maybe. like that. Because... Uh, uh, the first sentence is pretty strong. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. Uh, so she's saying that it's not uh, what she's asking here is not going to be easy to answer. And yeah, blood is not thicker than water. I get it. And um, I don't know how to press. Oh, uh, she. I guess she doesn't know how to deal with somebody. Uh huh. Who's not helpful uh -huh. or support our listener mm -hmm. uh, from the family member. You know mm -hmm. what? Um, uh, Caroline, Caroline mm -hmm. from Estonia. If you have a big family mm -hmm. then that happens right because um sorry dad but i have to come up with my dad's situation <laughs> um my dad he right. has uh six um siblings right 
and he's the seventh one. Oh dang! He is the youngest one. Right, right, right. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. He has two older sisters right. and four uh-huh. brothers. Uh-huh. But in Korea, long mm-hmm. time ago, mm-hmm. son was a little bit more. Well, people treasure son yeah, a little yeah, bit it's more. Yeah, very traditional. Then. That's that's like a traditional thing. Because in Korea, it's a very cultural thing. Yeah, it, it, it's very sexist, and, and like we we're over it now. But yeah, yeah they these were days, more yeah. valued at that time. Uh huh. Son was. Uh, they needed to go out and fresh, <laughs> precious. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, but mm. um, and also, of course, my dad was a son. But the thing right. was, he's the youngest, and also mm. age matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, the oldest, mm. uh, my dad's brother is. Right. Uh, there's a ten, almost ten years. Diff- there's a ten year difference. Difference age my gap. My goodness. So you know what I'm mm-hmm. talking about. So yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the brother yeah, was yeah. just a he was an adult already uh-huh. when my dad was at what in elementary right, school or right, something right. like that. So he kind of always had to like mm-hmm. deal or get that permission right. because my dad's father, which is my grandma uh, grandfather, right. he passed away a little bit early. Oh, okay. So it was. His my dad's brother who always took care of him, took care of him and mm-hmm. also he always had to have that um, permission from him. Right. And you know what? Things get a little bit you know right, awkward, right. and yeah. as they grow up, they always fight uh-huh. and they always argue each other. But my dad, uh-huh. he's not talkative. Right. So when he's like mad, uh-huh. he doesn't talk. Right, right, right. So uh, that's hard, man. It's yeah. hard to deal with people who are like major introverts. And you know what? Our uh, the so mm. it's my so in Korean. So the the my dad's brother. Right. He talks less than my dad. <laughs> right, right, right. So the situation gets worse and do? worse. And I cannot yeah. really deal with that situation whenever right. because um, you know, it's uh it's their mm-hmm. world and uh, you know, I am not really um, right, right, not right. the fact that I'm not interested, but it's mm. something that I cannot be involved with. Right, right. So, um, I think I, I kind of do understand, Caroline, mm-hmm. but me, I don't have any siblings. Mm-hmm. Uh, I cannot really relate to child. you right now, <laughs> but I can see this totally because, right. um, you know, whenever the, the re- oh, like siblings or the, you know, the person who always want to reach for help, right. sometimes the siblings or the family family member they're not helpful and th- that's kind of a life and mm-hmm. i saw this situation mm-hmm. before yeah i mean it, like big families are very common in the in korea and in the states if you think about it but like a long time ago uh-huh. but it's funny i actually grew up with a friend he's a german friend mm. and he had what like eight siblings and he okay. also he had an older brother and an older sister who was like 15 years older isn't that crazy? 15? Yeah, and he wasn't the youngest, but he was one of the youngest. Okay. And um, it was crazy. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> it, it's it's like they have... Harder. Not only is it that they have a huge age difference, uh-huh. but... They, they, yeah, they grew up in a different gen- generation, and it's not like he. His, it's not same. Yeah, and it's not like he's dealing with a dad. He's dealing with a brother. So it's like they never really get close. You know like, what? That's a good point because mm-hmm. Corey, think about it. We cannot really, uh, you know, understand mm-hmm. sometimes our mm-hmm. parents. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's hard... a different bond between a sibling and a parent. Not to say one is better than the right. other. But the centrist is different. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Different and definitely different. Uh, generation gaps for sure Mm -hmm. and it's just um yeah 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 it's just like we think differently about our you know siblings and our 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 parents so Mm -hmm. you know there's and and just going back to what what i was saying it's just like it's really hard to deal with everybody right caroline think of everybody the same way for Uh sure so but this happens but i i really wish that you don't really get too like sensitive about this because um maybe there's a certain like there's a situation i can see that 
uh, but uh, we don't have a details tonight, so we cannot right. really uh, go farther. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, when mm-hmm. you listen to our stories, Corey mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I, uh, you know, life, it, it, life general. There's always right. this uh, situation. So mm-hmm. I think, Caroline, for now, Caroline. Um, yeah, I think it's better for you to not think too much for right. now. Okay, thank you very much, mm-hmm. and stop touching your. I will. I'm trying. Seriously, I'm, I'm like trying, trying to. I, I'm gonna I just got like, this, like tie shade your of hair too. Like, <laughs> tie it's, your like, it's arms supposed to like, like prevent me from touching my eyes or something, but it's not doing anything. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, take a short music break and come back. This is Irakun Turakun. This and I by Five Dolls. All right, welcome back, everyone. You're listening to Sound K, and I'm your DJ Stephanie. We are here with Corey of Two Four K. Even his sick is here. <laughs> and the last song was Ira Kun Tara Kun. This and that by Five Dolls. All right, so we have eighties. Hello, eighties. Uh, from Iceland. Sorry, I'm late. I'm training a new girl at work. Ooh, you're oh. teaching something. And work is really busy these days. I know uh, you said that last night too, mm-hmm. but it's okay. Thank you very much for tuning in but it's my lunch break now yay so mm-hmm. i am here love from iceland thank you yeah. and we have asia 96 from bulgaria saying cory hello hello handsome cory how are you i'm all right <laughs> no, she's <laughs> not I'm, really I'm, I'm right. sick i'm all right um did you eat a lot of delicious food during lunar new year's day Fruit or food 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 uh i had the rice cake what, what do you even call Dunkle, it rice Dunkle. cake soup Rice cake soup mm-hmm. with the rest. Of, uh, our whole whole team didn't get to go home because oh. we had. Yeah, it's just it had conflicting schedules. You and stuff. ate rice cake soup. Mm-hmm. I didn't eat that. Oh no! I well, I mean, know. it's not like I had it homemade. If that makes you feel any better. But still, <laughs> why did you go get it at like a you know like a fast food joint? Fast food joint. Yeah, really, yeah, 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 yeah. nothing is open. Yeah, On actually, it was ironic because there was only one of them open. There's like this. There's a street uh-huh. right by our practice room and I mean, our what was it? Uh, yeah, our nothing building. is open. Everything is closed. And yeah, yeah, yeah. There was just like one building open, and it happened to be that place. And it's like, oh, nice. dude, we could have some doku. Uh huh. So, rice cake soup. Nice. Yeah. So that's actually good. Mm-hmm. And you look adorable. Uh huh. Thank you. And I really like your hat today. Hmm. Ah, thank you. So maybe your trademark is to come here with all kinds of hats. Mm. Yeah, I Why do not? have a lot of hats. And uh, every time when you say and see on me, and I am like yes because uh, <laughs> uh, our listener's name is. Asia. And, Asia. Uh, the, uh, the sign CD that we are giving away is Ensia. So it's oh. a similarity. And our names kind of sound similar. Yes, mm-hmm. you're right. And let's enjoy today's segment corner. What the love, Asia. Thank you very much. Awesome. And we have Divi Squad 91 from Romania. This is actually the blah, blah, blah feedback message. Mm-hmm. So I would like to see 100% in the studio. Okay. Mm-hmm. And this is my favorite band. So I didn't get to see them since uh, I became a listener. Oh, mm-hmm. I think I never interviewed um, 100% before. Mm. 100. Yes, 100%. 100%. Mm-hmm. And also, mm-hmm. I would like to see Tin Tab and La Boom. Okay. La Boom. La Boom. That's a and fun name to say. La Boom. La Boom. And also, I definitely personally want to interview mm. 24K when you guys make it. <laughs> oh, <Okay>? Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So let's move on to our second Tell Me, Tell let's Me message. Yes. This is from Heli3. Ooh, mm. Heli, you've been participating a lot Heli. with your uh, Tell Me, Tell Me message. Thank you very much. This is from Morocco. Mm-hmm. Hello, Corey and Stephanie. So I need you again. So a few days ago, I joined a student club. Mm-hmm. And because we spend a lot of time together, I got to know better a classmate. Okay. Mm-hmm. And he has a trouble sleeping at night because overthinking. Okay. Okay. I hate seeing people struggle with the uh, without helping. Mm-hmm. So I made him talk to me. Oh, mm-hmm. you made him to talk to you. Those, Word. Uh, wow, that's a talent. And I listened to him. Nice one. Mm-hmm. And I had to tell him lots of personal things to make him trust me. Okay. And he opened up to me. And mm-hmm. I did what I could make him feel better about everything. And now I have a little problem. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that guy and a close female friend dated. Okay. And they still have feelings for each other. Mm-hmm. And the girl is dating someone else mm-hmm. now, but she still cares a lot about her ex, which is him. Mm-hmm. 
So I feel like they are both using me、mm-hmm. to hurt each other, huh? And I don't like it.、Right. So they are not、uh, doing it on purpose. But、mm-hmm. I am in caught in the middle. Oh, that's a bad、right. situation there. And、uh, the guy sent me、uh, the hearts. Me hearts on SNS,、mm-hmm. and then he said that he's just not good at using smiley Smile. like em- emojis, Emo- emoticons, emoticons. Okay,、yeah. mm-hmm. and that, that he didn't do it on purpose.、Mm-hmm. And when his name pops up on my phone, the girl gives me a weird look. So he also flirts with me as a joke. <laughs> That's no good. And he's obviously、right. trying to make her feel jealous, and、mm-hmm. it's. Working,、mm-hmm. but okay, it is working.、Okay. Using our listener,、mm-hmm. that's not nice. Anyway, to、so、continue with the message, once、mm-hmm. so、when he talked to me, I was with her,、right. and he asked me a favor for the student club, and she kept answering instead of、right. me and refusing on behalf of me. Oh right, no! Right, right. And that was childish.、Mm-hmm. And I just ignored her. Good. And、mm-hmm. I said yes, and I followed him.、Mm-hmm. He was annoyed. Okay, so what's wrong with them? I just wanted to to help,、okay. but I don't want to risk my friendship with the girl because、uh, we are really close. Okay, and I also can't stop helping the guy because a、mm-hmm. uh, he's scared of being disappointed by people, and I promise to be there、mm-hmm. uh, whenever he needs me.、Mm-hmm. And b. Uh, he's the president of the club. Oh, okay.、Mm. And I joined, and we have a big ambitions,、okay. and we need to keep working together. What should I do? Hmm. Interesting. I feel like this is another quite common situation in between friends, right?、Mm. I, I I've had to deal with this on multiple occasions, so I completely feel. Do you remember the, the last、stress. message that she sent? It was、uh, the guy. It was about the guy, and she gave us the three options. Right. And、uh, right. she really wanted to help this guy, but this guy never、mm-hmm. opened his mind. Right, right, right. right remember? Right, right. So,、uh, but I think this is a different situation. Yeah, is, uh, yeah. I think this is a different、and、situation you, altogether.、Right? There's a friendship and also the relationship,、mm-hmm. ex relationships、mm-hmm. going on. So, right. Oh my goodness! So,、um, I think she's. I'm. Thank you very much for giving us the option because、right. um, A、mm-hmm. is、um, you know he's、mm-hmm. scared of being disappointed by people, and I、mm-hmm. promise to be there whenever he needs. So、mm-hmm. A is basically our listener. She needs to be with him,、mm-hmm. right,、mm-hmm. and help him.、Right. And B is he is also the president of the club,、mm-hmm. and、uh, she wants to. She. Has to see him every right, right, time. Right. right. So it's、uh, kind of hard for、mm-hmm. our listener to、mm-hmm. ignore this guy. Right. But it's just her friend is always beside her,、right. and uh, this uh, her friend and this guy dated before. Yeah. It's like a third wheel. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean,、uh, to just put this in my perspective from my experience. Yes. I had to deal with、uh, this friend.、Uh, I actually, I was the one who introduced her to him. Oh my gosh! And yeah, how chaotic is that? It was just, it was a mutual like, was it a situation? We were at a, we were at a coffee, we we're at a cafe、coffee、together, cafe. and we we're just kicking it. And afterwards, she told me that she's interested, and I was like, oh, it's well, like why not? Word, I'll, yeah, I'll talk to him, see、okay. what he feels. I mean,、Aww. you know, it's like I care about matchmaker.、Her. Yeah, no, no, it's like I care about this girl. I care about this dude.、Mm-hmm. They're they're very good、uh, friends, and、um, I called him up. I was like, dude, what do you think?、Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, I'd just rather you be honest because you know you guys are close friends, and I don't want to be involved as far as you know, you know.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want to be stuck in the middle, but I would like to introduce you guys to each other if you guys care enough. Well, you... and he was like, yeah. Okay, he said yes. You know what? In hi- in hindsight, you know this might have been my problem. I might I should have just you know maybe just kept my hands off it. I don't know, but yeah, yeah. So they met up.、Uh, that's all I did. I gave each other each other the numbers. I was like, "You guys figure it out from now on," because I'm not going to be. Most sometimes, yes. Well, that's and, okay. Just yeah, giving yeah. the numbers, and then yeah, they yeah. figure out whatever they want right, to do. Right, right. You know what? Because I mean, after they talk to each other, maybe they they. Well, pers- this is a little far than that. This is, is a little,、it? yeah, like the de- the details when you、uh-huh. listen to it. So you don't really get involved with all the situation. Right, right, right. No. So, but what? What my? I guess to my point. Uh huh. They got in a fight. And they they were like messaging me、uh, to try to get me on their side. Why? It, which this is why though I am telling the story. But and in the end, I was just like, dude, 
I'm your friend. In in this case, I am gonna have to run into them anyways, yeah. just like this uh, situation. And I was like, uh, but I am willing to give up both of y'all friends friendships right now because you guys are being really rude to each other. Like, mm-hmm. like not to so each other, dating? but through me. They dated no, or they dating? They broke up. They oh, so it's and the same situation. Start, yeah, yeah, they broke up and they try to get me on each other's oh, side. Oh my goodness! And I yeah, I just called them up together. Oh, of you course, did. You know, I I could have gone with a better route but oh, it was just I, I, I had too much I didn't have enough time and they were just getting on my nerves so I didn't tell them that I'm gonna call them up together at the same time uh-huh. I was just like hey I have time tonight so you come meet me at this cafe uh-huh. and they're like alright and so it was a surprise to them Okay. but then it's like I needed that confrontation I just told them straight up mm-hmm. you guys are stressing me out mm-hmm. I didn't even think about you know what would happen so but you should actually confront them that's uh... I, I mean and tell them like how I feel it's like I, I would wow. seriously I love you guys but I am willing to sacrifice my relationship with y'all because right now I can't deal with this I'm not you're telling me to choose a side I'm not gonna choose a side yeah I and think that's exactly hurt, what yeah. our listeners should do yeah yeah and also what I'm saying is that you're gonna have to run into them anyways you know right. it's like especially if you're involved with work exactly in, in her case exactly so. and but you didn't know how you didn't flirt with uh no oh, sorry <laughs> absolutely not no 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 right no, no. <laughs> you almost said that word but don't say <laughs> no, that. no 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 okay so um haley um mm-hmm. i think uh corey just gave you this uh, amazing advice mm-hmm. and um if you really need to be out of the situation then you need right. to like confront them and make sure mm-hmm. to gather up everybody and mm-hmm. then Guys, you guys really need to figure out because mm-hmm. uh, she's my friend mm-hmm. and he's my uh, the pr- uh, president of right, this right. you know club and I have to see him every time. Mm-hmm. But it's just you guys is ruining my daily routine. Right, and you really don't have to uh, get you know stress from that. It's really not fair, mm-hmm. Haley. And also, um, I got this point that he is making a joke and flirting with you. Don't get into that. Okay. That's yeah, a little um, dangerous thing. That yeah, that's one thing she does need to address. It's like, dude, this yeah. is making me uncomfortable. Yeah, don't and enjoy this is what's that. Making our was it friction right now between me and my other friend. Right. You know. Right, and you can get. I think uh, that might cause some trouble. Mm-hmm. Um, and that friendship that you have with your female friend. Mm-hmm. Uh, then because the girls do get jealous and when you get involved with I that guys old... get jealous too people are yeah people. but mm-hmm. you know flirting uh, I don't think that's a good idea yeah. so when you have to like work just a, just a thing just um, him yeah. as a president of that mm-hmm. uh, like group mm-hmm. uh, that what is that the student club mm-hmm. and uh, and friendship and that's a different one so right we are suggesting that um, just be there for your friends mm-hmm. is fine but don't get you know involved with that you know mm-hmm. for flirtations or anything absolutely and uh definitely it's a good idea to confront them mm-hmm. like this whole situation everyone. could be avoided if there's no you know conflict between your conversation with this dude mm-hmm. because if she, the only reason this problem's happening is because she thinks that you're flirting with him or he's flirting right. with you so he just needs to switch the way he he needs to stop talking to you in that manner okay tell him to stop with the emojis or emoticons Mm-hmm. You know, even that maybe could, you know, probably fix the situation. All right. Mm-hmm. So, okay, Haley, uh, I'm hoping that our advice can help you out with. Thank right. you very much. Mm-hmm. And the song that we are going to listen to is Bebop by Off Road. Bebop. We'll be back. Yes, that was Bebop by Off Road. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we are here with Corey for Tell Me Tommy. And Ozzy on 96 from Bulgaria was saying, Corey, get well soon. Oh, I'm and already fine. I feel better. It's just so sad that you are sick and get well soon. <laughs> take a lot of vitamins. Vitamins. <laughs> and uh, If don't... I learn anything from Sound K, it's to take vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> it's like everyone suggests taking oh vitamins. Goodness. I'll take vitamins. And don't, uh, seriously, listen to me. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, don't overwork and you need a rest <laughs> right. you and sleep uh-huh. well I mean that's hard but right, um, right, you know right. uh, having a good night's sleep is very important yeah. and OMG stop touching your face yeah, it, it's like a sign I swear <laughs> every time I come here it's like dude why aren't you taking your vitamins <laughs> And you will get an eye infection if you don't <laughs> stop that. So take care. I'm going to make people nervous and start touching my eyes even more often. S- and I keep rubbing it. Like No, 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 no. Don't do that. Because, yeah. oh my goodness. I'll stop, I'll stop. And, Asia, you added. This is actually the advice uh, once more. Mm-hmm. Um, so, the third person. 
So I was in almost a similar kind of situation,、mm-hmm. and it is hard for the third person, hard to be a、mm-hmm. third person.、Yeah. And one of my closest male friends asked me to be his fake girlfriend. Oh, that's dang! That's like <laughs> that's not good. That is so dramatic. Oh my goodness! I can't believe you'd even like go that route. <laughs> so his ex will be jealous.、Ouch. Don't. Don't tell me that you did、Ouch. that, Asia. Anyways, and he said that even I won't accept. His ex already think that we are together、wow. because we are really close.、Mm-hmm. And I was like, why do you want to hurt each other? And、mm-hmm. you want to use me? And oh no 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 no! And because of him, I still feel awkward every、mm-hmm. time when I see his ex girlfriend.、Mm-hmm. And in my opinion, she just need to ask this guy、mm-hmm. what are his real intentions. Absolutely. And by the way, does she like him? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm.、Mm. So if you don't have any feelings, you just need to ignore him. And I think when he sees that you are not、uh, noticing him, he will stop. Good luck.、Mm. Okay. So Ozzy, Ozzy is basically giving our listener Haley three、uh, advice, and that was actually a good one. But、uh, that was really a dramatic example. Yeah. You, it's not example. That's. What yeah, happened? If I could add one thing though, like I don't think it even matters whether if the guy likes her or not.、Uh-huh. I don't think it's right for him to do that because, especially if the middle, the third wheel is like into a relation. I mean, not into a relationship, but it has a relationship between the two friends.、Uh-huh. And it's like it's like the dude or the whoever is asking them to do this is asking them to break the relationship off with the other person, right?、Mm. So it's like it's not fair for either the Asia's、uh, dude who's asking her to do that, or、mm-hmm. the guy, the president of that club,、right. to act the way they're acting. That's just so not yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah. That oh, that、mm-hmm. really bothered me.、Mm-hmm. But um, oh, wow, Haley three, <laughs> but um, I it's I know it's not. That dramatic, right? Um, but I think、uh, you get this idea、mm-hmm. and、uh, get this like um, what solution? Right. Yeah, from the, that Asia's experience. So,、mm-hmm. yes, thank you very much, Asia. That's really helpful. But、uh, you definitely surprised us. Yeah. And remember that Amber from United Kingdom that we talked about、mm-hmm. her. Um, tell me, tell me, message last time the claustrophobia. Right. Right. Remember,、mm-hmm. and seems like. Uh, people are still not respect,、uh, have a respect for her,、uh-huh. and now they are even mocking her. Really? Yeah, that's just not cool. Oh、that's... my goodness! <laughs> now I think you really have to talk to principal because、right. mock. It's just one of the the what is that、um, trauma that you have, right, and that、right. can really hurt you. But they're mocking you. Well, that is just so not fair. That's just so not. You、cool. have bad friends then. Yeah, just don't. <laughs> well, if you like, have I mean, to, if,、uh-huh, if you got to to a point where it's extreme enough, and you're like, dude, you need to respect my, you know, space. I, I, I really, I have a problem, and it's really, you know, it's hard for me to deal with this.、Mm-hmm. And when you open up like that, most people, not your friends, but most people will be like, oh, dang, that's that sucks. Like, I'm really sorry.、Mm-hmm. We'll try like. Of course, people. You know, every once in a while, after a long time, they get desensitized about it, and you could possibly joke around about it, or you could laugh about it. But、oh, for you、so、to be、oh、on the spot and be like, "Dude, I have a problem. I'm, I'm like, you need to help me." But if you and, are friend, but I can, I, I can see that she already tried, but、uh, people, you're,、mm-hmm. they're just not listening、mm-hmm. to her. So I think it's now. It's、yeah. time to. You really got to、right. talk to your principal、yeah. seriously. And, and if you feel like you've gotten the message across. And they're doing that, yeah. You, yeah. There's, there's definitely a, either you need to just part with them or something. It's just so. Th- those、there. aren't friends. No.、Mm-hmm. No. No. Period.、Yeah. So, all right,、uh, Amber, but、uh, thank you very much for your feedback message.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, let's go quickly. We don't really have yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This、go. one's from Hanvon,、uh, Hanvon, or from Yvonne, Yvonne, Yvonne. from、uh, Singapore. Okay. Hello, Stephanie and Glory. I've been going for a job interview every time, and I've been very nervous.、Uh-huh. Uh, no matter how much I practice, I've been prepared、uh, with my portfolio.、Uh, every time I get to a job interview, I still get very nervous. What should I do?、Mm. Nervous is always. It seems like the nerves always get me. Right. So,、mm-hmm. uh, how to calm yourself down when you have something that's、right. like a. When you get nervous, what do you do, Corey? When I get nervous. 
You know what? I, I, I won't say I've always been a very outgoing person. I, that's just something that's changed over time. Mm-hmm. Like, since middle school. I don't know why. Like, I just decided to change that about myself. And I think it's just a matter of what you tell yourself. If you tell yourself... If you psych yourself out, you're going to be nervous. Well, that's actually uh-huh. uh, the only way to fight through this um, situation. Because you really had to tell yourself right. that it's just nothing. It's just right. a job interview. Just, yeah, like, yeah, just yeah. say that. You know, just... um. Um, being a little bit uh... open-minded. <laughs> yeah, it's a little different than that. What, what I what I'm trying to say is though, it's like it's not like an intervention. It's not like oh my goodness, I need to change this about myself. Right, I right, am right. being nervous over something stupid. Mm-hmm. No, just just be just telling yourself like how light the situation is. Right. It's like even if it's a job interview, mm-hmm. even if you think it as you know, again on hindsight, of course. You could be like, oh, wow, this job is, you know, this job interview is like a once in a lifetime job interview or mm-hmm. whatnot. But in the end, it's like you either get it or you don't. You know, it's not mm-hmm. that big of a deal. You could, there's always another job interview. So why not just take this, it just seize the day and just be like, yo, I'm just going to relax and have fun. Mm-hmm. You know? But you know what, um, Yvonne, think about it. It's not only you. Uh, right, right, We absolutely. do get nervous before, mm-hmm. you know, certain like a stage or some kind right, of, right. I had to sing the national anthem when I was in Goodness. the state uh-huh. uh, in front of all this like ambassador because um, yeah, I was uh, the cultural ambassador. Uh, in Los Angeles, I'm still. Oh, I still no am. way! That's awesome. And I, I had to sing that. Mm-hmm. But you have no idea yeah, how nervous. Is, I was. Yeah, that is. But you know what? Um, I just uh, uh keep uh, saying that it's just a piece of cake. It's uh-huh. a piece of cake. But of course, I forgot the lyrics. Oh no way! But you know what? Uh, was it a cappella? It was just only me and Mike. Yeah, yeah. So the, it was acapella. The microphone, yeah. Oh goodness. But um, you know what? People start to sing for me, and oh, then that's I catch good. up, and mm-hmm. I catch up, and then I finished right. it. So there we go. I there think go. Uh, um, I was listening to the music before I go on that, you know, right. the stage. But right. you know what? It's national anthem. Yeah. It's just so. <laughs> it's just more nerve wracking. <laughs> uh, but me, yeah. I was talking on the phone with my friends, uh-huh. talking about other things. Uh-huh. I really had to like focus on other things. Uh-huh. That's what I did. Right. And uh, some of our listeners uh, probably say listening to music really calm you down. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, eating. I... <laughs> Eat. <laughs> hey, okay, that that's just a random suggestion from Corey. I'm not saying it'll work, but mm. it works for me. But Eva, I think you really have to like uh, tell yourself. But if that doesn't work, mm-hmm. uh, why don't you try listening to music? Mm-hmm. And not think, just uh, don't think too much because when you think too much, uh, people do make mistake when you do something yeah. too much, right? Yeah, just again, I guess that goes back to you know thinking of the whole situation as something that's not that serious. Okay, in a so sense. Yvonne, thank you very much for your um, message. But it is our time to say goodbye to Corey. Thank you it very is. much. Even you're a uh, sick. Make sure to take care of yourself, and then I will, I will see you next week with a healthy condition. Yes, I okay. Will. And the song that we're going to listen to is Dr. Feel Good by Rania. <laughs> and I will see you next week. Thank you, Corey. Bye.